How's it going, boys? Last time I asked you if I should make a trade before the trade deadline, and I got some mixed answers. But what I did is I I had a really good comment that said to trade Bo Horvat. So I did. I included Victor Rask and Artemi Panarin in the trade for a few reasons, and I'll get to that. But I acquired Evgeny Kuznetsov, Brad Richards, and Nick Schultz from Washington. Evgeny Kuznetsov did have some retained salary in that trade, which is why the trade seems a little lopsided. Uh, I, I made Washington hold on to some of his contract there, so we wouldn't have as much salary going into next year, which was a really good thing on my part. Now, going to the lines, I can show you why I really made that trade. You guys were talking about getting Matthew Kachuk some time and how he will be good how he will be good for in the future, so we should trade uh, Namasnikov or Panarin. And honestly, Panarin was on the worst contract, uh, Namasnikov with only a year left, so I decided to hang on to him and get rid of Panarin. So that's how that trade looks. And then Brad Richards is stepping in for Victor Rask, who is now uh, on the Washington Capitals. Nick Schultz will not be a part of this defense, though. I sent him down to the minors, hoping somebody would claim it on waivers, and nobody did. And I think that's where he will stay for now. He's not good enough to be on our team. Our worst defenseman is better than him, so that's how that's going to be. And we got we got a couple games uh, left in the season, so I really think that we can make the playoffs with the team that we have. We just have to play really well. I think Mat Matthew Kachuk will do well playing on the first line there and I want to get uh, Opilka a start here so after Markstrom loses his next game like let's say it's up against Carolina I'm going to simulate to that day call Opilka up put him as a starter and he'll play that game just no matter what happens if he wins he loses he goes back down after I just want to get his NHL debut I want to see how good he'll do and honestly Calgary is not that great of a team so let's go up to this day then uh, Victor Rask is going on waivers, so we got a chance to pick him back up. Uh, I'm going to throw a claim on him. Why not? Uh, did we did we get him? Hey, we got Victor Rask, and we lost to Tampa Bay, but that's beside the point. We got Victor Rask back, so... <laughs> I, I guess we're looking even better in that trade, then. Alright, let's go... I believe he should be in the system there. Yeah, Victor Rask. <laughs> I can't believe we, <laughs> we got him back. Wow. All right. So that, wor that works out pretty nicely. I'm going to go ahead and scratch Brad Richards then. I know uh, Chris Kelly seems a lot worse, but his defense is better than Brad Richards' defense. Yes, it is. So I'm going to keep Chris Kelly in there. This will probably be his last year in the NHL. Honestly, his defense... You know what? I'm going to scratch Chris Kelly. His defense, he's a minus 24 this year. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and throw Victor Rask in there then. Yes, I am sure. Alright, uh, Victor Rask, I will be moving up to the third line. And Brad Richards, you can move down to the fourth. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change up the uh, penalty kill then. Because uh, I do not want Victor Rask on the penalty. Actually, you know what? He's not bad. I'm going to keep Victor Rask there. That's good. I like him there. Alright. Alright. And with that, we got a game coming up against Carolina. Uh, so yeah, it's simulate up to this day. And I'm going to throw a Pilka in there. And I'll be back in a second. Alright, so I got a Pilka as the starter. We're going to go ahead and slow sim this game against the Carolina Hurricanes' his NHL debut. Alright, first period. Alright, 0-0, we're out shooting, that's a good sign. We got good defense this game. I want you guys to keep this up. Come on, second period, we need a goal. Ooh, Jeff Skinner scores on a Pilka. We have yet to get the offense going. Come on, boys, we've been playing decent defense. We gotta help a Pilka out here in his rookie debut. Come on, third period. Come on, boys, I got a power play, and they score Rod Brindamore on a Pilka. They got another power play. He shuts them down there, but our offense is yet to get going. They got another power play. Who keeps taking all of these penalties? My goodness. Come on, boys. Oh, my goodness. Not even a single goal. 
And Hannafin gets the empty netter, making it three to nothing. Inexcusable, boys. Inexcusable. No offense going uh, against Carolina. They got Luongo in net. Nyquist had three assists there. <sighs> Ridiculous, boys. You could not even get him a single goal in his rookie debut. And now he's going to be sent down after being shaken up up here. Ridiculous, boys. Uh, how do I send him down? All right. He doesn't have to go through waivers, so that is really nice. All right. We're going to go to edit lines. Throw Markstrom back in as the backup because it is, uh, it is Ned's turn to be the starter. There we go. Get Markstrom in there. Then we're going to go down to the AHL and throw a Pilka back in there. There we go. All right. He shook his confidence a little bit. That's not what I wanted to do. But you know what? He got his, uh, he got his rookie debut. So, I don't know. He, he did not do half bad. Cannot complain too much about it. Uh, the team just didn't play well around him, so. Alright. <sighs> Alright, boys, here we go. We gotta get back into this. Still, two-loss ratio for the goalies. Um, yeah, just gotta keep going. We need some wins here. Game against Minnesota and against Arizona. Two Western Conference teams. Let's go to player morale first, though. All right, Brad Richards, I uh, make you proud of a choice. Welcome aboard. I think that was a good trade for both of our teams. Uh, yeah, uh, welcome aboard. Same thing for you, Kuznetsov. All right, game against Minnesota, and we win it 2-1. to one. Ned keeps in 4-3 win against Arizona. So Ned keeps up his winning ways right now. Nedeljkovic, man, who would have thought? <laughs> shootout win against Winnipeg and win against Edmonton. He's on a streak right now. My goodness. All right, game against Calgary. Can he get his fifth win in a row? He cannot. It's a shootout loss, but you know what? Shake it off. And a loss to Arizona. Okay, that's not good. All right, we got to go ahead and throw in Markstrom then. <sighs> All right, come on, boys. We need some wins here. Nedeljkovic played really well for us. Markstrom, you cannot drop the ball. I expect you to play just as well, if not better than him, because you've had more experience in this league. Come on, we got the Rangers and the Penguins coming up. A shootout loss to the Rangers. Come on, boys. We can't be only getting a point in these games. Player morale. Oh, uh, Marcus Kruger. He's a little upset. Uh, yes, we do know what we're doing. Thanks a lot positive effect that's what i like to see he's a great third line center i mean just look at his stats he's a two-way forward he can honestly do it all uh he's got a little bit of offense you know and not great but his defense wholeheartedly makes up for it he can skate he can check he does it all and i'm very glad that we have him on this team game against pittsburgh and we lose markstrom you're back out of the net jesus he has not been performing well for us uh, maybe he's been reeling it in since we paid him, but you know what? Nedeljkovic, uh, we're we're going to guide you into the playoffs, baby. Uh, we just got to get some wins. We are tied. Actually, you know, we are two points behind Calgary right now. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the standings. Uh, okay, we got two games in hand against, uh, against the Flames, and uh, we're three points behind of the Kings. Uh, let's go to the west. We can see uh, where exactly we are. Wow, okay. Minnesota Wild are tied with us in points, but they have a game in hand. I'm guessing the Central Division uh, has both the wild card teams. Yeah, Dallas and Chicago. It's going to be really hard for us to make the playoffs because we need to move into third place because there's almost no way that we're going to get the wild card. So, And even if we don't, it's not a huge loss. Uh, because we have been making our team younger and better. So we need to catch up to L.A. here. They have three more wins than us. Uh, so we need to go on a streak here. Nedeljkovic, I'm, tr I'm putting the team in your hands, baby. Guide us to the promised land. Game against Philly. Ooh, a shootout loss. That's okay. We got a point. We got a point and a loss to St. Louis. We can't be losing to Western Conference teams. 
Uh, let's edit the scouting assignment. Um, hmm, where do I want to go? You know what? Let's go defense in the uh, WHL for four weeks. Natalkovich, it's okay, baby. You've been uh, you've uh, had some really good streaks for us. Uh, couldn't expect you to keep it up. Matthew Kachuk, let's see how he's been doing. One goal and four assists in 12 games, five points. That's not so bad. Uh, uh, five points in 12 games, excuse me. That's not so bad. He's been playing uh, fairly well. I think I want to change up the lines a little bit. Let's get Elias Lindholm some time on that first line. Maybe that'll change it up a little bit for this team. I do have him on the power play, so he is getting plenty of time. And I did change him to a sniper, so... I don't know if that'll have any effect on his uh, play style or not. All right, so we got Markstrom back in the net. Come on. Come on, Markstrom. I really need you here. I need two win. I need at least two wins. Overtime loss to Dallas. That's I can't have that. Going up against San Jose in an 8-2 victory. My goodness. Eight goals. Wow. All right, game against Minnesota. And a 5-1 to one loss. Ah. Now, I just don't see the playoffs in our future. We can't win games down the stretch. And you know what? I don't blame that on the team. Uh, we haven't had the best goalies this season. Uh, Markstrom has really been crap. Uh, 21 games played, 5 wins. I think I'm just going to run with Nedeljkovic for the rest of the season. He's been doing well. And I might as well give him the shot. Um... Our forward lines aren't bad, but we could be better. So the last five games, Ned is going to get them. And maybe we get some wins there. Shootout win against Arizona. Let's go to player morale. Uh, Marcus Kruger would like to talk to us. Uh, there's a lot to be proud of. Good work. There you go. All right. I should just keep going. Game against San Jose. And we get the W. Game against L.A. <laughs> we get the W. We're breathing a little life into the team. We got two home games against Anaheim. And we split them. And we failed to make the playoffs. We were right on the doorstep. Oh my god. We were close. We were one point behind the Los Angeles Kings. One point behind. We, we missed the playoffs by one point. For this team, I think that's absolutely great. Uh, like I said, I wasn't going to be mad if we didn't make the playoffs, but... We didn't have a terrible season. Uh, we did. We had some changes throughout the season. I really can't be too upset with this team. I would have loved to see more from Matt Matthews uh, in his sophomore season. He had, a, he had a little bit of a slump. Yeah, sophomore slump. He did score some more goals for us, which I can't be too mad about. He's a plus 17. So, yeah. Uh, Marcus Nasland, uh, he, had a, he had a good season. Uh, better than his rookie season. Not as good as last year, though. Definitely a solid season for him, though. Uh, Nemestikov, I would love to see more from you, though. Uh, yeah, he did have a career year. He was a, finally a plus player for, like, the first time ever. Uh, Scott Stevens had a decent year. Victor Rask, wow, you actually had a really good season. Playing on that thir third line most of the time. Uh, yeah, 54 points. Not a career high, but a very, very solid season. Cannot complain there. Uh, Kuznetsov, you didn't spend the entire season with us. Uh, I imagine next year you'll be better with a full season with us. Uh, career high in points, though. Can't complain there. Uh, I think he'll have a better season playing with Elias Lindholm. I think those two will be really good together. Uh, we just got to give them some time to grow together. Uh, Elias Lindholm, uh, yeah, didn't have the greatest of seasons. Actually regressed quite a bit. Uh, I have to imagine that was because of the line that he was playing with, though. Uh, yeah, decent seasons, but with the team that we had, I mean, Matthew Kachuk actually had a really good stretch here. Playing on the first line. Uh, and actually, you know, he split time between the first and second lines. I, I couldn't have asked for more from these guys. They all had pretty decent seasons. And uh, yeah, we're just going to have to grow some. 
And we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with uh, Clarkson. I'd love to get rid of him. Hopefully he retires. Fingers crossed there. Patrick Berglund, uh, I'd love to see him go. Uh, he is only on a one-year deal, though, so he will be gone after this year, thankfully. Mitch Callahan, I, I would have hoped for a better season from him. Uh, he didn't do terrible, but he was a minus 10 with us. Uh, he did have four points in 30 games. But if you're going to be on that fourth line, I need you to be a plus player. I wish he was a little better defensively, but maybe I hope he will grow just a little bit. And uh, Brad Richards, good little stretch for us there, but uh, I think that will be the end of your career, sadly. And now here's, let's go talk about something that I'm really happy with this team. The goaltender situation. We will not have Markstrom next season. I thankfully will not re-sign him. Uh, I did not like what he did this year. He was really bad for us. He didn't even get one single shutout. Nedeljkovic, on the other hand, he breathed a breath of fresh air into this franchise. He proved that he can be the number one goalie for us in the future, and I love what he brings. And Apilka, you did really well in your one start, but the team around you could not help you out, unfortunately. But we've got a bright future, and I'm really excited for it. So... Let's go ahead and move a little bit up. We can see uh, who wins the Stanley Cup and all that good stuff. And then, uh, yeah, I can. I don't know when I'm going to do uh, the live stream for the offseason yet. Uh, I'm going to think about it here just at, for the couple minutes that it's simulating. But I think the team that we have uh, will get us far. It honestly will. Now, we made the playoffs last year. We got to the second round. This year, we missed the playoffs. And it's a little upsetting. It is. Uh, let's go ahead and just keep simulating. It's a, it's a little upsetting that we didn't make the playoffs, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, let's just go wherever. I don't really know where else to scout. It's not, too ex ex uh, it's not too upsetting that we didn't make the playoffs. I'm really excited for our future. We have a really good team. That's built for the future. I mean, Evgeny Kuznetsov, I think he was a great pickup to be our second-line center. Um, Victor Rask, I just didn't think he would get any better, which he, I don't think he was. He was only 83 overall. My, my hope for him was for him to become a very good offensive second-line center, but it just didn't really turn out. Uh, Bo Horvat would have been an amazing third-line center uh, with the way he could play defense and the way that... Uh, the way that he could put the puck in the back of the net just a little bit. And, uh, yeah. But I, I got really good really good hopes for this team. And uh, we'll just have to uh, see where they go. Uh, yeah, so we got, the, we got the draft coming up. The Colorado Avalanche won the Stanley Cup. We can go ahead and take a look at the playoff tree. And, uh, actually, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to take a look at stats all around the league. Uh, we'll do that here in a second. All right, first playoff tree. Game against the Colorado or Colorado Avalanche, they win the Stanley Cup. Uh, they had a fairly hard path going to the Stanley Cup. Only once, not going to a Game Seven. They went to a Game Six there. Eastern Conference didn't look as tough. The Western Conference, three out of the four series in the first round went to seven games. I think that really shows how strong the Western Conference is, and that just means that we have to play really well. Uh, if we want to, uh, if we want to move on, and you know what, in the East, three of the four game, three of the four series went to seven games. But other than that, there were three series that went to five games and one that was a sweep. In the West, <laughs> there was only one one series that was a five game series. The rest was more. So the West is going to be really hard to win, and this upcoming off season is going to be a big one. We got all the legends becoming free agents, so it's going to be a huge, going to be a huge uh, free agency. I would love for you guys to join me in the offseason live stream, and I believe I will do it tomorrow night around 7 p.m. like I always do. And my goodness, 122 points for John Tavares, 75 assists, Mike Bossy, 120 Peter Forsberg 110, Joe Sackick 106, Tamu Solani 103, Summon 103, Wayne Gretzky 102. My goodness, he's not even the greatest scorer in the league right now. And 
it's, it's just ridiculous the kind of points that he's putting up. I mean, Tavares, Bossy, and at the end of the se season, Lanny McDonald with him. I mean, that's absolutely, absolutely dirty. Just the lines, the line that they could put together there. Tavares also will be a free agent this offseason. So it'll be interesting to see who the Islanders hold on to. Um, yeah, I would love to get my hands on some of these guys. Uh, I think if we go after somebody, it should be like Solani or Mike Bossy. I want a really good goal scoring right wing to throw on the line with Matthews and Nasland. And then second line, I would love to get somebody else, but I don't think we can really uh, afford anybody. I'd love to pick up a uh, uh, Hashik or Nabokov, the two goalies, but I don't know if we'll be able to afford them. And honestly, I don't know if we really should because of our goaltender depth. I'd love to pick up one of the defensemen again as well, possibly Lidstrom, but you never know. Um, this is how everybody really looks. <laughs> My goodness. Wow. So many people above a point per game. It's absolutely insane. James Neal and Philip Forsberg playing with uh, Peter Forsberg. Man, that's absolutely amazing. But anyway, that'll be all for now. Off-season live stream will be tomorrow, May 18th at 7 p.m. Be ready for it. Uh, I I welcome you guys coming in and giving your ideas. I think it's absolutely amazing. And yeah, so I can't wait to see you guys all there. And until then, I'll see ya.